All right, guys, we are going to we're going to a yard sale, and we got to wait for this chicken across the road here. Oh no! Now we have another one. What is going on here? Oh no! He's coming right towards my car. <laughs> All right, so that was interesting. Uh, I don't even know where the heck I'm going. Um, my GPS is like out of control right now. All right, guys, so we are going to a yard sale. Uh, and I am kind of in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. So my GPS is not even working at this point. So we are just going to try to follow the signs and get there and see if they have anything good to resell. Let's go. Okay, we are at this sale. Finally found it. Lots of Halloween stuff. Look at this. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, someone like Halloween, huh? <laughs> Halloween and Christmas. Nice, nice. Some clothes, some purses. Hmm. Let's see what we have in the tent. some manga for how much the manga is oh 50 cents we'll give that a give that a shot oh it is chilly out today it was so nice yesterday it was almost 80 now today it's really cold and I did not wear enough clothing <laughs> I have a sweatshirt on and leggings, but you should have worn a little bit more. This almost looks like Glen Haney, but not quite. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at me busting the place up already. Shower curtain. Ooh, how much is this set? It's Lennox. Six plates, six coffee mugs. That's a very good price for Butterfly Meadow. We are going to get it. These are some Pioneer Woman bowls. $10. I don't think so. I think the dollar is more accurate. are kind of cool. Some vintage angel planters. I need to see if I can put the Lennox somewhere so I can finish looking. What do we have here? Lego Dimensions PS3. Two dollars. I don't really know much about that. Ooh, I like this cat. This cat's really cute. What is in here? Oh, probably an apron. Nothing in there. That's, that's a Dollar Tree brand. See if I can make a pile somewhere. I wonder if I should get this for two bucks. Let's get a little fig in there. Look at her. <laughs> it's pretty cool. 
of decor. Ah, oh, this is cool. I like that basket. Mm, I'll get some of this stuff. Ooh, I am freezing. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. And we got ammo. All kinds of stuff here. I don't know what that is. What does that say? 50? This might be worth like 100. I'm going to have to take a look at it. place here. Big garage built onto the house which is pretty cool. It's kind of interesting. McCoy. Try that McKee cereal dish. These are actually kind of cool. Is that chipped? No, it's just uneven. Do you think I'm gonna get that set?
I like that picnic plaid. There's a ton of stuff here. But a lot of it is just blah to me. Or overpriced. There's just a couple different prices on there. Kind of cool. Hmm. Yep, I think we're only getting the two things here. All right, guys, so I'm sure you have tons of you screaming at me right now. You should have picked this up. You should have picked that up. Um, but it almost all looked the same to me. <laughs> I was really uninterested in all of that glass. So uh, the only things I did pick up, I picked up that McKee cereal storage container. It doesn't have the lid and it is milk glass. Um, now, had it been another color like jadeite or something, it would really be worth a lot of money and if it had the lid, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get 40 bucks for that if I'm lucky, I'm not sure. But, uh, and then I picked up the red gingham picnic set or whatever. So, uh, the lady did say that she bought out an antique shop and I'm telling you, the stuff I bought was crusty and dusty. So I don't know if it was in the basement of this place or, or what happened, but, um, I, I don't know. I'm not really sure, but she said she was going to be putting more out in the next coming weeks. Um, yeah, I just wasn't like super excited about much of it. Uh, I did like a couple of the glassware sets. They were a little pricey and it wasn't something that I felt that I couldn't live without. Like I could have tried to negotiate, you know, if I really want something, you guys know I'll do it. But I just, I don't know. I really wasn't into that stuff. But I know, like I said, I know a lot of you were probably screaming like, pick this up, pick that up. And, but I mean, I'm sure I may have left some money on the table at that sale, but I also feel like there was definitely a lot of junk. Um, like there were several like Amberina type pieces, but they were just, they were flashed on color. They weren't even genuine, genuinely colored glass or whatever. Um, but anyhow, we are headed out of the Poconos because, uh, this is a sketchy land up in here. <laughs> oh. Hey, listen, I lived in the Poconos. I can say that. Um, anyway, I'm headed back into the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania and I'm uh, going to see if we can find anything out that way. And if not, I'll see you guys back at the warehouse for a quick recap of what I purchased. Today. All right, guys, back at the warehouse. Let's get into this haul. So only went to two yard sales. It's Good Friday. It's Easter weekend. Uh, pickings are a little bit slim, but it was lots of fun. Um, but yeah, traffic was a little problematic in the beginning. Um, first off, I got behind a tractor trailer that was driving like 29 miles an hour in a 45, like four miles. <laughs> And then I got stopped by chickens. <laughs> Only in the middle of the woods, right? I mean, anyhow, this is what I got. So we will start at the last sale and then work backwards. So I did get this 
McKee white milk glass cereal container. Um, I said earlier, maybe $40, but I think that might even be very ambitious. I'm thinking maybe like 25. I'm not really sure. I will probably do a little higher and put best offer. You know, it is basic milk glass. It doesn't have the lid. I am going to clean it because as you can see, it is funky. Um, and then also got this, I think that mug is in the wrong spot. I got this um, set also very funky, needs to be cleaned, red gingham, and it even says party set, seven piece, which all seven pieces are here. We have the bucket and the six glasses. Um, however, I'm not sure of the company. I don't see a the box even smells. I, I'm not sure of the company. I don't see the company um, on there anywhere, but I think they are really cute. Um, I really like this set. I'm thinking probably, I'm going to say probably around 50 bucks on this set plus shipping. Uh, definitely going to clean that up though. Okay. Then at the first sale, I spent a total of $55. Um, I got this box of random lenses and stuff and I did I did this is Optica uh I looked this one up and it seems to be kind of decent so um yeah I am gonna just probably list all of this stuff separately and see what we can get out of it um so I got all of that I got this Lennox Butterfly Meadow dessert platter. Uh, Butterfly Meadow is definitely saturated. Um, it, it, it was a very heavily produced pattern of uh, Lennox. But I figured, and this was five bucks, and this is honestly only going to be about $20 right here. Um, but it was so cheap, aside from the platter, that was kind of pricey because that was five dollars but the rest of the pieces six plates i believe and six mugs were only ten dollars and i should be able to get like 30 to 40 plus shipping per set for the plates and the mugs so the mugs are all in here i mean this is such a pretty pattern i love the butterfly meadow pat pattern honestly um like I said, it is definitely very, very saturated. Um, um, I picked up this Lego Dimensions PS3, possibly a starter kit. Um, I didn't even look to make sure the game was in here. It is. Uh, hopefully it's in good condition. Let's check it out. Oh, it is. It's like, it's minty. Minty. Um, so probably 15, 20, 25 on this maybe. Um, I do have to get it out and take a closer look at it. Uh, these here are two Pioneer Woman bowls. It looks to me like maybe she had these at an antique booth. I think she might have had these at a booth. Come to think of it, several of her items looked like they came from a booth. They looked like they were handmade. She probably made them, and I, I bet she had a booth somewhere. Um, but anyway, this is Pioneer Woman. She wanted $10 a plate, but at the yard sale, they were a dollar plate bowl. <laughs> they are different patterns. Um this one's more of Christmas and this one's more of just like a flower pattern. So we'll see. I wanted to be able to sell them together, but I think I'm going to have to sell them separately since they are kind of different. Last but not least, these are just the Lennox plates. These do have some scratches. Uh, Butterfly Meadow Dragonfly. So maybe these are a little bit. Oh no, they're all different. They're all different. Ooh, they're all different, but, um, yeah. Okay. And I got these three manga books. 
Um, they are used, they have a little bit of cover wear and whatnot, but these are, I guess they call these um, omnibus volumes. They have basically three volumes in each, and I have basically one through nine. These should bring at least $30 plus shipping, um, so that's actually a really cool find. So not too bad. So that's going to wrap it up. That is, that's today's haul, but it was so much fun. Um, after this weekend, we should be good to go for like a ton of sales. Um, Easter weekend's always a little bit rough, but we should be good to go for a lot of sales. So I'm excited. Uh, I am going to head out tomorrow and see if I can find any, see if I can find anything, but, um, you know, like I said, it's Easter weekend, so we'll see. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed this haul. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.